rise and shine beauty so as you can see my alarm goes off at 7 30 monday through friday and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i usually lay in the bed for like an additional five ten minutes after the alarm and then i finally get the day started like that's the hardest part of the day it's just forcing yourself to get up and get going um, but of course after i finally peeled myself out of the bed i like to start off by taking care of my teeth um, so i just start by of course brushing my teeth mouthwash floss you know all that good stuff personally go to the gym about five days a week monday through friday and i just feel like washing your face three times in one day is a bit excessive so i personally just rinse my face with some cold water before the gym and then i do also do like a quick rinse off shower just so that i can be as fresh as possible before the gym and kind of wake myself up a little bit more and then of course i just throw on some gym clothes and this time i did match but like nine times out of ten i never match at the gym for the most important step in getting dressed before the gym, like please don't be that person that forgets to put on deodorant and just gases out the whole gym, okay? Like deodorant is major key. And the reason why I have this bag on my head is because on this particular day, I was deep conditioning. I like to deep condition at the gym because I'm sweating. So my scalp is generating a lot more heat, which helps the deep conditioner absorb even better. So as a lot of you may or may not know, I'm currently on a journey to try and gain weight. So I always make sure that I eat breakfast. My go-to lately has been potatoes, eggs, and sometimes I'll throw in some oatmeal, but I never skip breakfast. Like that's major key when trying to gain weight, is just making sure that you're eating enough, which has always been my biggest problem. So even though I'm not really hungry in the morning, like I said, I never skip breakfast. And then of course, my sister, as you guys saw, is usually down in the kitchen by this time. And we just kind of chop it up converse get the good vibes going um, before heading into the gym true the air conditioning in the gym broke and it's 77 in here, so hot. So before I start my workouts, I always start by doing a really good stretch. This is really, really important if we're gonna be lifting weights or just working out in general. Um, my body's super stiff and I have like really bad lower back pain. So this is major, major, major key for me. And on this particular day, I, like I said, I'm on a journey to try and gain weight. So I try to steer away from cardio, um, but this just happened to be a cardio and abs day. I try to do cardio at least once a week um but like i said i'm trying to gain weight so i really try to stay away from it but i did find that the peloton is so much fun so if i am doing the peloton i for sure only do cardio once a week and like i said on this particular day i was doing abs so i did include a few of the ab workouts that i did on this particular day as well comment down below and make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you are interested in more actual fitness related content i would absolutely Absolutely love to include that here on my channel so like I said comment down below let me know
So like I mentioned, on this particular day, I was deep conditioning. So of course, I wanted to sit in the steam room for a little bit, just so that that deep conditioner can absorb even more. But on a regular basis, I try to hit the steam room about two to three times a week so that I can stretch further and meditate and do all of that good stuff. So right after the gym, I like to fuel my body with either a protein shake or a smoothie or just something to give my body some substance before I actually eat my lunch. And so right here, I'm just making a nice smoothie. Um, and I've been loving maca powder lately. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. If you guys are interested, I would love to go more in depth about what it is. But if you are on a journey to try and gain weight, this is a superfood that's like an alternative to epitamine, if you know what that is, like I mentioned. Let me know in the comments and I'll kind of just elaborate further on what it is exactly, but I've been loving that lately. And while I drink my smoothie, I kind of just either scroll on my phone or I'll read a book or I'll check emails. It really just depends on what I'm in the mood for that day or how I'm feeling. But in this moment, I kind of just take the time to be by myself, enjoy my smoothie and just enjoy my alone time pretty much. Don't go in my head, don't go, don't go in my head Shout it from one end After I finish my smoothie, I like to just throw on some music. I usually put my iTunes on shuffle and just go ahead and hop into the shower so that I can get my day started. So at this point, I do my actual morning skincare routine, like the whole shebang. If you guys are interested in my morning skincare routine, definitely leave a comment down below. It's switched up a lot and like my skin is flourishing, y'all. Like literally flourishing. And right here, this is the best part of getting dressed. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? So if you know me, you know that I am a whore for lotion, soft skin being moisturized. So I do actually use two different lotions. I use a Nivea Essentially Enriched Lotion and I use a thick butter like this right here. And then I just throw on some clothes and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I ain't even gotta lie to kick it. 90% of the time I look like a bum. So as you can see, I just threw on some sweats and a shirt. And unfortunately today, like I mentioned, was a deep conditioning day. So I have to do my hair from scratch at this point. But usually, Typically, most of the time, I would just like refresh my hair and keep it pushing. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. I'll just kind of finish up with the little minute details. I'll add some jewelry. And on days that I'm just chilling around the house, I like to just use like a body spray versus like an actual perfume. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll usually just head down to the kitchen. I'll eat my lunch and then do whatever my day entails for that day. So of course, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a giant thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Duh.